What's up guys, it's Luke here. And today I'm gonna to talk about how house flipping is dumb. Look, it appeals to the shiny object people, the people who are into the glitz and the glamor and the HGTV whatever, and that's just not a good way to make money. Okay, look, it does have its place in the real estate investing world. And I personally have actually done it before to build up capital. You can make a lot of money doing it and you can make a profit, but the reality is much different than what you see on TV. All right, the first reason why I really think it's dumb is because it's a short-term business. It requires you to think short-term and the business model itself is based on a timeline that's very condensed and does not allow for a long-term plan to actually take hold and take place on each property. It's just like buy and hold real estate in terms of you gotta find a property, you gotta get it under contract, you need to close on that property, and then you gotta start the rehab on that property. So everything is exactly the same as a buy and hold. The problem really becomes once you flip the house and you go through the whole process and you get it sold, you're done. That house no longer provides you any source of revenue. There's no way to make any money in the future off that house. It's just one shot and you're done. And now you have to start the process all over again. And a huge thing with house flipping is keeping the momentum going, which is extremely hard to do over the long term, as opposed to you have a house on a long term buy and hold. You just do it, you hold it, and at that point in time, it continues to produce income over time and it continues to make you money over time. And you don't have to worry about doing it again repeatedly over and over and over again in order to keep that momentum going. And speaking of keeping the momentum going, <sighs> <laughs> and speaking of keeping the momentum going, you get no breaks with house flipping. Unlike long-term buy and hold, you have no way to really slow your momentum down and recalibrate your business or change direction or just take a break because the moment you take a break, there's no money coming in. The other thing I really, really hate about house flipping is you have to deal with contractors all the time. And anybody who's done any sort of real estate realizes that having to deal with contractors is probably one of the hardest parts of doing it. When you find one that's awesome and great, hold on to them, but it's really a pain in the backside. The second reason why I think house flipping is dumb is the tax treatment you receive when you flip houses. Look guys, it's a short-term game. The government's gonna tax you like a short-term entity. That means your taxes, depending upon the state you live in, can be up to 50% of the money you make on the house flip. That's a huge chunk of your profit taken away just in taxes before we count any of the other costs. When you flip a house, you don't receive the preferential tax treatment that other real estate investments receive, which is one of the huge benefits of real estate. You don't get to take part in three quarters of those if you're a house flipper. So where the government is basically in line with real estate investors, big and small, to help you out and lower your tax bill, in most cases down to zero. For house flippers, that's not the case. Their tax bill is actually closer to 30, 40, 50%, depending upon how much you do. You also need a team in order to grow and actually makes your business thrive. But along with having a big team of people, it also increases your taxes that you need to pay for that business. So just overall house flipping is a very expensive endeavor, at least on the tax side, and the tax uh, disadvantages are huge. The third reason why I don't like house flipping is that it takes money out of your pocket. Look guys, to do it really well, you eventually have to quit your job and build out a huge team. It's just not feasible to have a flipping business that is thriving and keep your day job. I personally love my day job and I'm able to buy, buy and hold real estate on the side and dedicate pieces of time to it, but it also allows me to continue making money doing my day job as well. It's not the case with house flipping at all. It does not take 30 days to do a flip. If you think you can flip a house in 30 days, I would love to see it. Please comment below and hit that like button if you can do that. But I'm telling you right now, it's not possible. The typical flip takes between six to nine months to complete and that's just a really, really, really long timeline for you to go without money if you have to quit your day job in order to do this. Let's just do the math. That's the easiest way to prove this and to show how this all actually works. Okay, let's say your all-in cost is $300,000. That's the cost for your property. Everything included, the pay all your people, all the contractors, everything's $300,000. Now, let's say you can sell it for $400,000. An incredible profit, trust me, making that sort of jump doesn't happen often, but let's just do it for an example just so you can see the numbers work and make them nice and round. So you actually, looks like on paper, you make $100,000, right? What an incredible flip. We would all love, I'd only need to do one a year and I could live high on the hog. However, there's more to the math than just that $100,000. So let's go through those. First is you gotta pay, when you go to sell that, at roughly 
6% or $24,000 goes to the commission for the real estate agents. I'll have a separate video on agents coming soon, but for now you're gonna use an agent probably and it's gonna cost you 6% approximately, so $24,000. The next, you get closing costs. Those are typically about 1% and 1% on a $400,000 sale is $4,000. So there's another $4,000 you gotta take off that $100,000. Next is carrying cost. Again, you gotta have taxes, you're gonna pay insurance, you're gonna pay uh, that interest to that high interest uh, hard money lender you borrowed money from. So we'll just be conservative with this number and say it's another $5,000. So there you are, those are the numbers. But wait, there's more. That's right, Uncle Sam is gonna want his piece as well. And even though you can deduct those costs we just talked about, I'll just do a 40% tax rate against the number that's left and you'll see that's twenty six thousand eight hundred dollars that you're gonna have to pay to uncle sam at the end of the year you don't have to pay it right then but you got to pay him at the end of the year so actually on a hundred thousand dollars you thought you made on that flip you're actually only going to take home around forty thousand two hundred dollars in actual money that goes in your pocket now remember that's for six to nine months worth of work the number four reason and the last reason why i really don't like house flipping is you have no real protection from a market downturn the reality is, is when you're flipping that house, you're stuck with it for the next six to nine months. And if you know what's gonna happen in the six to nine months, please comment down below, because I'd really like to know too. The reality is, is our economy, the way it works now, it can change in a matter of months. And now you're stuck with that property. What you're out, what are you going to do with that property if all of a sudden values drop 10%? Also, how is your debt structured? The typical house flipper doesn't go out and get a 30-day mortgage. They're typically going to hard money lenders who are lending them money in the very, very short term at very high interest rates. There are many famous people out there in the finance space who have been burned just exactly like this. You can go out there and Google it. I'm not gonna put their names on here because I don't need to get sued. However, those people got burned just like that, having a bunch of short-term money out there and then having their notes called due whenever the economy took a downturn and they couldn't get rid of those properties and the entire business actually folded. Typically, when you go with those hard money lenders, they got a six month period of time, maybe a year, that you gotta pay the entire amount back. So if you borrow 200,000, you gotta pay them back 200,000, plus the interest at 10, 12, 14%. So in the event of a market downturn and you can't sell that house, that note's still coming to an end. If you're a first time investor or just or haven't been investing all that long, you're probably gonna make the mistake that everybody does, and I call it chasing the deer. Essentially, because you can't get the price you get, you lower the price, but you never actually lower it down to the price you need to in order to get a quick sale. You're just trying to save the investment, trying to make it positive, trying to make break even. And before you know it, you're chasing the deer downward and the price continues to get lower and lower and lower as opposed to if you just would have cut the price in the first place to the number you needed to cut it to, you could have sold and gotten out of the investment at that point. And you might be saying to yourself right now, but Luke, we can just take it and turn it into a rental, duh. Okay, first things first, you bought it as a flip, not as a rental, and a big mistake a lot of people make is not actually doing the numbers on how it would perform as a rental as one of their outs. Secondly, and I guess more importantly, if you turn that investment into a rental, what are you gonna do with it? Now you have this business, you have all these employees to pay, you have all these big bills to pay, and I'm sorry, even if the investment cash flows, that few hundred dollars in cash flow you're making isn't enough to keep your business going over the course of six or eight months. So it doesn't really work for your business model either way. All right, guys, sorry for all the negativity in this video. I really do think house flipping is a great way to get started and it is a way to make some capital to help you build out your investment portfolio. However, especially with the turn of HGTV and everything else, everybody wants to be a house flipper and everybody thinks that's the best way to get into real estate. And I just personally disagree. Now I have lots of friends who do flip real estate and they make a lot of money doing it and they have a great business and a great model and everything is working out great for them. However, I do see some significant downsides to it. And I do think when a downturn happens, that's where these guys get burned. And if they're preparing for that, that's great. They're doing that. But I know the vast majority of the guys out there doing it aren't prepared for that downturn and they're just riding the tidal wave as long as they can. But eventually a wave hits the ocean and it stops going anymore. And so that's why I really just, uh, I just don't like house flipping, at least as a solid business model long term over the course of time. So anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, or even if you didn't like it, please still hit the thumbs up, subscribe, click down below for the notifications, and also comment down below. It's YouTube's rules, not mine. Please just comment so that way we can grow this channel 
And until next time, we'll see you guys later.